a gruesome discovery of bones in Whitstable. Police have confirmed that the remains are human. As you can see behind me, the work is continuing now at the Shaftesbury Road building site. However, the circumstances behind these bones being found is still unknown, and we don't know whether it's linked to any criminality or whether it could be a historic or archaeological find. And to give me some answers as to how they could do that, I've been to the other side of the district, to the University in Canterbury, to find out more. Robert Green is a former forensics officer working at the University of Kent and has received an OBE from the Queen for his services to forensic science. So he knows his stuff and he's explained what work investigators will be carrying out. The investigators will be doing their work on you know, things like missing persons. Um, were there any reported homicides at the time? You know, did people go missing? What was on that site at the time? You know, that can often uh, give you a clue. You know, what was built there before? Um, uh, and has been, since been demolished. Um, you know, was there anything you know, destroyed during the you know during the war period? Uh, that type of thing. Are there any uh, signs on the on the bones that would you know indicate a you know, foul play? Um, any broken bones? That type of thing. Uh, but ultimately, of course, you know they'll be looking towards um, recovering the bones, recovering the long bones, uh, to extract DNA from them, potentially. Um, and there are numbers of cases now around the country where. Um, aging bones, aged bones have actually had DNA extracted from them and have been linked back through either maternal or paternal DNA lines. The next important step would be to identify just how old these bones are to determine whether they're historical or from a more recent time. That job would fall to an anthropologist. Dr Chris Dieter is one such skeleton specialist. Mostly what will happen is um if an archaeological crew comes through, they'll look at the context in which the bodies were found. They'll look at the position of the bodies, if they're fully articulated, all the bodies, um, all the bones together, or they scattered around. Um, and they'll look at other finds that are found with the individuals. Um, from that, they'll be able to determine roughly what time period they're from, whether they're modern or, or historic, and then be able to work back from that. So it really depends on the context in which the bodies are found. So whilst work has resumed at the site, work is only just starting to find out who the bones belong to and how they got there. Harry Pete for KMTV.